Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Wreckin' Ralph, a new Disney film that involves video games. It stars John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jack McBrayer, Jane Lynch, Alan Corolla, Alan Tuick, Ed O'Neill, Dennis Haysberg, Minnie Kalin, and Edie McClure. The movie begins 30 years ago at a local arcade. The video game known as Fixit Felix had become the longest running in the arcade. Wrecked Ralph, that's voiced by John C. Riley, is long to be as beloved at his game's perfect good guy, Fixit Felix Jr., who's voiced by Jack McBrayer. The problem is, nobody seems to like Wrecked Ralph because he's considered to be the villain. But they do love their heroes, so Fixit Felix Jr. is the right one. So somehow, all of a sudden, Ralph decided that he wanted to go to a new video game in order for him to become a much better guy than, than he already was because they couldn't invite him on their 30th anniversary of the game in the penthouse. So he decided to go to another video game and it turned out to be a first person shooter game called uh, Hero's Duty. So once he arrives, he meets a tough as nails Sergeant Calhoun that was voiced by Jane Lynch. Ralph sees as his ticket to heroism and happiness, but all of a sudden he actually sneaks into a game with a simple plan to win the medal. But soon it actually wrecks everything that was going on in the game and accidentally unleashes a deadly enemy that threatens every game in the arcade until he runs up in another video game which is sort of like a Candyland type racing game known as Sugar Rush. He's soon to meet a character, a little girl, who eventually turns out to be a glitch known as Penelope Von Schreitz that's voiced by Sarah Silverman. A young troublemaker who might just be the one to teach Ralph what it means to be a good guy. But he'll soon realize that he's good enough to become a hero before the game is over for the entire arcade so they'll all be in the out of order dump. Now for a film like this you wouldn't believe how good that Disney can come up with something like this considering that they once did a video game movie called Tron which later did a sequel called Tron Legacy and I really admired the fact that this is an animated film that's a lot different from any other animated film and it's also the fact that it has the 80s and 90s nostalgia for video games it had a lot of cameos including Sonic the Hedgehog, um, the characters from Street Fighter 2, along with Qbert, Pac-Man, Bowser from Nintendo, and many others from other video games um, during the 80s and 90s. I, I like the fact that they had that feel to it. It was so perfect. You know, I, this was just... And they also had the Grand Central Station and all this stuff. It's sort of like a resemblance to Tron. And I like the fact that they throw in a first person shooter game with the mix of a racing game from a different point of view. Um, this is definitely amazing. And they did a very good job. Uh, I really enjoy this movie a lot. Uh, I love uh, the Wreck of Ralph character. I thought he was very, you know, considering that he's a villain in the, uh, the video game, Fix It Felix. At least he does have a heart. I mean, you gotta admit, I mean, he's just tired of being the bad guy. And, you know, that's the whole purpose of it, the story. And he's trying so hard to help uh, a little girl you know, for being caught in a racing game that she could not leave. Sad to say. And, of course, we get a character that was sort of like the Mad Hatter. It's kind of modeled by him, named King Candy, who eventually... In disguise, he's really what it seems to be you know, a villain. I, I love the characters, and I especially love the first-person shooter 
female character, Sergeant Colhan. Yeah, I thought she was very awesome. This was just, this was a great film. I really enjoyed it a lot. I think this is the best animated film so far this year, along with Paranorman, Frankie Weenie, and so on. Definitely check this movie out. It's worth recommending. So I give Wreck and Ralph five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.